different cases looking at multiple scenarios. The damage is expected to be worst in the Tokai region after a late evening quake during winter. The death toll is estimated to reach about 323,000 in 30 prefectures from Kanto to Kyushu. 1,346,000 buildings are likely to be damaged completely. 750,000 buildings will be burned down in fires. A total of 2,380,000 buildings are likely to be lost, including those washed away by tsunamis. A 34-meter tsunami is expected in Kochi Prefectures, Tosa Shimizu City and Kuroshio Town. In Shimoda City, Shizuoka Prefecture, tsunamis are likely to reach 33 meters. Tsunamis could exceed 30 meters in three prefectures. After a quake, tsunamis could reach one meter as quickly as two minutes afterwards in Shizuoka and Wakayama prefectures and three minutes in Kochi prefecture. In worst case scenarios, fatalities could reach 109,000 in Shizuoka, 80,000 in Wakayama and 49,000 in Kochi. Shizuoka Governor Hita Kawakatsu says it is a very high figure. He says people would have to escape to tall buildings, evacuation towers and higher ground. Wakayama Governor Yoshinobu Nisaka says the projections must be accepted calmly and all necessary measures must be taken. Disaster Management Minister Masaharu Nakagawa says people cannot comfort themselves by thinking that the projections are too harsh. He says the government will do its utmost to review disaster preventive measures in order to minimize casualties. In predictions today say more than 320,000 people could be killed in a worst case scenario. But they add that prompt evacuations and quake resistant buildings and designs could reduce casualties dramatically. Some local governments in coastal areas have started looking for ways to increase their chances of survival. A reporter visited the site of a projected 34 meter tsunami, the highest forecast for anywhere in the country. The Chihiro Point is in Tota Shimizu City in Kochi Prefecture. The city center is about eight kilometers away. A tsunami evacuation tower in the city center is built about 11 meters above sea level. Projections released today say the downtown area could be under 10 to 20 meters of water, making the tower useless. Everyone is saying now the tower is not high enough. Another resident says residents will have to find their own safe evacuation spot. The prediction of a towering tsunami hitting the area makes the staff in this daycare center very worried. They've changed the evacuation area from the tower to a nearby hill. But the only route to the hill is via Mountain Road. Will they be able to evacuate every one of the 120 young children under their care safely? Oh. The care daycare centre says the staff will have to piggyback the children along, along the way or do whatever it takes to get them to safety as quickly as possible. The city has worked out a plan to move its fire station to higher ground. But it has yet to start a wholesale review of the evacuation areas and how to get to them. City disaster official Naotaki Higashi says designated evacuation centers may be underwater when a mega quake strikes. He says the city will just have to find higher places. The simulation predicts that 44 square kilometers of Hamamatsu City will be inundated in the worst scenario.
Our reporter says this park in Hanumatsu City's Minami Ward is about 700 metres from the coast. The city plans to create an evacuation mound in this park. The mound will be about 7 metres high, with a flat space of 1,000 square metres on top. That's enough for about 1,000 evacuees. Construction cost per square metre of the evacuation mound is about 20% of an evacuation tower. In Nachikatsuura town, Wakayama Prefecture, the worst case simulation predicts that tsunami will reach 18 meters. The town conducted its first large scale tsunami drill at night. The residents evacuated to a nearby hill more than 10 meters from sea level, but the only staircase leading to the hill was unlit. Nobody could see the way ahead. The simulation predicts that the first tsunami will reach the coast in only five minutes. It's expected to be as high as 10 meters. The drill showed that it took more time than expected for the elderly to flee in the dark. This person says it took 15 minutes. He said he'd be caught by a tsunami before reaching here. The town plans to construct new evacuation routes so the residents can evacuate to higher hills closer to their homes. As we've mentioned, the simulation predicts that 320,000 will die in the worst scenario. But the government's panel believes that predicted damage can be mitigated by early evacuation and reinforcing buildings to meet anti-seismic standards. In the Tokai region, a mega quake striking late at night in winter could trigger tsunami waves that killed 200,000 people. But the government's panel says this number can be reduced by 80% if appropriate measures are taken. The panel chair and Kansai University professor Yoshi Kwata says the basis of disaster preparedness is that people should be aware of the importance of life. He says the number of victims can be significantly reduced by early evacuation. This is only achievable by the commitment of each and every individual involved in the disaster says he hopes that people will do their best to evacuate to safety. Unexpected is a term repeatedly used after the Great East Japan earthquake. However, we have learned that the, through experience that the unexpected could indeed become reality. The assumed damages represented are numbers and they are st staggering. We must also accept these numbers as a challenge to reduce the expected damages. We must not be unduly fearful, nor give up hope, nor should we underestimate. It is a call to fear and face up to the challenges.